Hello learners, welcome to the world of English language classroom. Today in this lesson we will do writing, learning to write well, learning to learn writing by writing. So, what involves writing? You may have written letters, you may have written your diaries or you may have written uh, some classroom report, but we will together in this lesson enhance our writing skills. Initially, we will know what we do when we write and learn to write by writing. Are you ready for this classroom? After going through this writing lesson, you will be able to understand different stages of writing and you will be able to think and reflect gather ideas for writing. Thirdly, you will write the first draft and improve upon it by adding further ideas and you will learn how to edit your draft writing. Then you will learn to edit the language errors in your writing and improve the language use of the write ups and finally, you finalize the draft with all the changes and improvements and write the final draft. What you do when you write? Let us do one writing task by undergoing different stages of writing. Here is a writing task for you. This is description writing. You may have described the events, objects, persons to others orally. Now, here we are going to learn to write a description. Let us take very simple example. Let us look around the room you are sitting and observe the objects and events which happen in the room. Write a description of the same in about 100 words. If I am given the task, what will I do? Should we start writing the description immediately? No, not at all. We need to gather ideas, look around and see the room, see what are the things available, objects moving or not moving and events happening in the room, then write. So, what we do when we write, we have to brainstorm ourselves. First of all, let us gather information or ideas by taking a look at the objects and the events happening in the room. So, take a closer look at the room, have some time for observing. Then, having observed the objects and the events that are happening, let us jot down them in words and short sentences. Are you doing it? We may ask some questions to gather the points for our writing. What is the size of the room? You may say this is a spacious room or a small room. What are the objects in the room? There is a table, there is a television or something like that. All those things we can. How are they placed? Where is the table? Where is the TV? Where is the man standing and doing something? Where are they kept? What are they doing? These are the points you just write down. Then you move a bit further, see that how the room looks like. It is beautifully arranged, uh, it is good looking or it is unkempt, it is not in order. All those points also you can jot down. This is you brainstorm yourself to gather the ideas and jot down the points. Now, I have collected the points and listed them and you can also add some of the other points in your list, your feeling of the room you can add. Now, all of the things you are jotted down the points with you, now you start writing the not even the first draft, what I call pre draft. You have done a job of the jotting down the points. Now, develop the points into short sentences. For example, you say that a table, a television you wrote. Now, you have to say there is a TV, there is a table placed at the corner. You can also say this is a big room with lot of things 
a table, three chairs, one table with a lot of books on it, those kind of things you can jot down. You can now develop this into complete sentences by making meaningful sentences. You can say this way, there is a big table at the corner of the room and there are lots of books on it. So, this that point you made a table with books has now it has become a complete sentence. So, can you now write all those points into 10 to 12 sentences? If you have done that, your pre draft is ready, brainstormed, then you have noted down the things. Now, we are moving towards writing the first draft. Now, improve the sentences you have written into the first draft. Now, write first draft with complete sentences and connectors. Connectors I mean there are three chairs and two of them are red in color. So, the and, but, whereas, while those are connectors. What you can do now is organize the ideas and events in the room into categories. What will come first and what will come second or what will come next and which will go at the end. First you will observe, you record the things in the room, uh, then your opinion later. But remember you have to write things in a connected manner that we call in a coherent manner. First you talk about the table, say about it or television or the wall, then move, move beyond the whole thing of the room. Now, you need not much bother now about the minor errors, mistakes you commit, because you are going to do language editing finally later. Now, initially ideas are important rather than the language mistakes, any writer does that. Now, in the next stage, you are going to write the final draft. What will you do while writing the final draft? Let us see it. You read the first draft you have written once, then see how it can be improved. There are two ways you can improve. One is the adding new ideas, your reflections, you are feeling about the room, then correct the mistakes. So, you can do correction first, correction the language errors, mistakes or punctuation, then add ideas or you can add ideas first, two more sentences, three more sentences, then correct the language mistakes. Yes. Let's go further, ensure that the each paragraph has at least two ideas. You talk about the table or the television, how they look like and how the whole room looks. So, at least two, three ideas can. Each idea or the point is supported with the evidence or information to prove the idea or the point. When you write, you make a statement that is a table at the corner with books. So, it is a complete idea. If you say there is a table, where is it placed? Uh, what are the things kept on the table is not complete. So, you have to say complete idea. You brainstormed, jotted down the points and you have written uh, complete sentences and improved upon them. There are four stages you have come across. Now, revision and finalizing the draft into final paragraph or essay. Read through the paragraph again more than once. If you want to make changes, you can do it very well now. If you want to make the first sentence to the last sentence or rearrange the sentences to make the idea flow coherent, replace the ideas with new ones. Now, do the serious language editing, correct the grammatical errors, spelling errors, punctuation errors and once you have done it, your essay is now ready. So, in order to recollect how we have learned to write well and to sum up, let me tell you the processes involved in a good writing. The processes involved in good writing include process approach. You can see the table there on the screen. On the left is the processes, on the right side is 
what a writer does the way you have done. The process is the first thing you do as a writer is brainstorming. What do you do in brainstorming? You jot down as many ideas as you can about the given topic, then arrange the ideas in a sequence. Then you write the outline, create an outline for your writing, which ideas will go first, how will they be supported by evidence, will there be a picture etcetera. Drafting, so you are writing the first draft now, write the first draft, there the focus is on the content, not the form, meaning do not bother about language mistakes, errors now. Then the next stage revising, revise the first draft, improve it, add or delete ideas and improve the language. The next stage is proofreading, this is actually language editing, proofread the draft with the help of the teacher or your peers. Here the focus is on form not the content. You have written the content, you have your language with you, correct the language errors. Now, write again, this is the final draft. There may be a question in your mind, how can I do an essay writing with all these stages every time? What we suggest to you is, as learners, initial stage, if you do at least one writing this way in a month, your writing will improve. And in due course of time, as you develop into a good writer, you have come across various stages of writing and you yourself have uh, written uh, a description. This is description writing. We will come with many more forms of writing in the future classrooms. So, let me give you some homework which you can think of writing. But please remember to follow the various stages of writing. Now, a bit of homework for you. Write a description of any one of the following or all of the following. But remember, you undergo, you adopt all the stages which we have discussed and which you have undergone. Write a description of your home. You take a look at it again, though you have been living in the house in your home for long, but take a look at it and jot down the points, write the first draft, improve upon it, then edit it, then finalize your writing, final draft. The same way you can write a description of your school, the playground or the park nearby your house or somewhere and the marketplace which you frequently visit. If you try some of this, that will be of great help for you to become a writer, learning to write well. So, we hope you enjoyed this writing lesson and learn to write well. Thank you very much for having been with us in this writing lesson. Thank you. Thank you.